Hey everyone, and welcome back to our NREMT paramedic exam prep show. These 30 practice questions cover a selection of content on emergency medications and pharmacology. For hundreds of more questions like these, make sure you get Brainscape's NREMT paramedic flashcards. Okay, let's get started. Question one, what is the mechanism of action for albuterol? Albuterol is a beta-2 agonist that causes bronchodilation. Question two, what are the four contraindications of Altaplase as a tissue plasminogen activator or TPA? Internal hemorrhaging, recent surgery, aneurysm, and significant hypertension. Question three, what are the three indications for amiodarone? Ventricular fibrillation, pulseless ventricular tachycardia, and symptomatic or stable ventricular tachycardia. Question four, what are the adult and pediatric dosages for calcium chloride? For adults, it's 500 to 1,000 milligrams. For pediatric patients, it's 20 milligrams per kilogram to a maximum of one gram. Calcium chloride is three times stronger than calcium gluconate and is administered through a central, not peripheral IV. Question five, what are the indications and contraindications of dexamethasone? The indications are anaphylaxis, asthma or COPD, croup, and spinal cord injury. The relative contraindication is sepsis. Question six, what is the mechanism of action for diazepam, also known as Valium? Diazepam is a benzodiazepine, which is a central nervous system, depressant, anticonvulsant, and sedative. Question seven, what are the indications and contraindications of dultiazem? The indications are atrial fibrillation or flutter. The contraindications are hypotension and cardiogenic shock. Question eight, what is the adult dosage for metaprolol? Two to four milligram for STEMI, one to five milligram for NSTEMI or unstable angina. Question nine, what are the four contraindications for nitroglycerin? Hypotension, head injury, and bradycardia. Right ventricular infarction is a relative contraindication. Question 10, what is the mechanism of action for diphenhydramine? Diphenhydramine is an H1 histamine antagonist that decreases inflammatory response. Let's take a quick study break to remind you to prioritize your sleep, especially when you have a lot of work or exam pressure. Sleep is crucial for optimal physical and cognitive performance, it will empower you to learn faster, have more stamina, and be more decisive on your assessments and in the field. Paramedic, sleep be a luxury, but if you develop the right habits today, you'll reap rewards for life. To the quest. Question 11, what are the adult and pediatric doses of methylprednisolone? For adults, it's 125 milligrams. For pediatric patients, it's one to two milligrams per kilogram. Question 12, what is the mechanism of action for terbutaline? Terbutaline is a beta-2 agonist that relaxes the smooth muscle of the bronchioles. Question 13, what is the indication of vecuronium? Vecuronium is indicated for rapid sequence induction or intubation, RSI. Question 14, what are the indications and contraindications of fentanyl? Fentanyl is used for pain management, but is contraindicated for head injuries, for which it should be used with caution. Question 15, what are the adult and pediatric doses for glucagon? For adults, it's 0.5 to 1 milligrams. For pediatric patients, it's 0.03 to 0.1 milligrams per kilogram. Both are delivered via intramuscular injection. Question 16, what are the indications and contraindications of heparin? The indications are STEMI, pulmonary embolism, and DVT. The contraindications are bleeding, recent surgery, and severe hypertension. Question 17, what is the mechanism of action for Toradol? 
Toradol is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, or NSAID, that causes analgesia. Question 18. What are the adult and pediatric doses for morphine? For adults, it's 2 to 4 milligrams. For pediatric patients, it's 0.1 to 0.2 milligrams per kilogram. Question 19. What is the Controlled Substances Act? The Controlled Substances Act classifies medications into five categories, separated by how addictive the controlled substance is. Question 20. What is a Schedule II drug? Schedule II drugs have a high abuse potential and must be kept under lock and key. For example, fentanyl and cocaine. Okay, time for another quick study break. If you're loving the challenge, I've set you with these practice questions. You'll find hundreds more with illustrations in Brainscape's adaptive mobile flashcards for the NREMT paramedic exam. Make sure you download those so that you can efficiently study anytime and anywhere, and you will crush the paramedic exam. Let's get back to answering more questions. Question 21. What is a Schedule 5 drug? Schedule 5 drugs have a lower abuse potential. For example, narcotic cough drops. Question 22. What are agonist medications? Agonist medications, like opiates, are ones that attach to receptor sites in the body to alter or influence a change. Question 23. What are antagonist medications? Antagonist medications, like naloxone, prevent the agonist cells from reaching and attaching to receptor sites in the body. Question 24. What is the ideal body weight formula for men and women? For men, it's 50 kg plus 2.3 times the patient's height in inches over 5 feet. For women, it's 45.5 kg plus 2.3 times the patient's height in inches over 5 feet. Question 25. What is an idiosyncratic reaction? An idiosyncratic reaction is an abnormal susceptibility to a drug peculiar to the individual, usually due to genetic factors or dysfunction of a metabolic enzyme. Question 26. What is tachyphylaxis? Tachyphylaxis occurs when taking multiple doses of the same medication in a short time frame builds tolerance, for example, nitroglycerin. Question 27. What does interference mean in the context of emergency pharmacology? Interference occurs when the other medications a patient has taken inhibit the actions of drugs administered by the paramedic. Question 28. What does potentiation mean? Potentiation occurs when the effect of a medication is greatly enhanced by the presence of another medication. For example, phenergan is given to increase the effects of codeine. Question 29. What are class 3 antiarrhythmics? Potassium channel blockers. Question 30. What are catecholamines? Catecholamines are naturally occurring chemicals that stimulate receptor sites in the sympathetic nervous system. For example, epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. That's the end of our exam prep show on emergency medications and pharmacology. To reach full mastery, remember to study using Brainscape. Our mobile and web app utilizes the latest in spaced repetition techniques, allowing you to optimize your study time and track your progress in great detail. Of course, when you're driving, cooking, exercising, or otherwise unable to navigate the app, be sure to keep listening to the rest of this hands-free studying playlist. No matter what subject you're learning or what method you're using, Brainscape helps you rise to your challenge.